Now, for the xylophone, it's the same thing. Harder mallets, the smaller the instrument. So for the soprano, I often like to use these uh, hard orange mallets that, that I typically use with my tempo block. So on the soprano xylophone, again, that will really make the melody pop. The other uh, pair of mallets that I use a lot on my soprano xylophone that sounds awesome uh, are, come from the blue yarn mallets that we use on the alto tenor. The children just, they don't mean it, but they tend to pick the yarn and eventually you, you need to replace your mallets. But this is what's actually under this. And so these are a fantastic pair of mallets for you to use on the smaller xylophone. Again, these are much softer and that's what I would use for my alto tenor. Unless you really have a melody part, certain part that you want to pop or you don't have um, as many players, you could use a harder mallet going to give you more sound. But in general, I do like um, these softer yarn mallets for the alto tenor. For the bass, you'll notice the mallets are a little bit bigger and they're definitely softer. I very, very rarely would want to have a harder mallet on a bass. I'm looking for, for my biggest, softest mallet for the, the accompaniment bass part.